Now this is a short video to show you some simple tricks on how to manipulate data. Um, the spreadsheet you can see here is a list of uh, just contact details. So we have name, the business name, email addresses and phone numbers. Um, in this instance the name has been recorded as first name and then surname with the surname input in capital letters. Um, so first of all I just wanted to show you um, how you can split those names um, so you could have them into two separate columns so you'd have first name in, in one cell surname in a separate cell so first of all what I would do is copy that whole column into a spare column so that we have the original there and then we can mess about with this one okay so the first thing we need to do is use a function called text to columns to split those names into two separate columns so you'd highlight the entire column in the data menu you would select text to columns um, in step one of three here you get two options, it's either delimited, which is going to split the names um, based on a character, such as a comma or a tab. Um, in this instance, we're going to split using a, a space, which is the character. Um, this option, the fixed width, allows you to split by specific um, field lengths, which in this instance isn't going to help us. So we'll stick with delimited and go to next. And here we literally just need to untick the tab and choose a space. And it shows you an example here of how it's going to split the data for us, which is exactly as we need. So we can just click finish. And there you can see we now have one column with a first name and another column with a surname. Uh, the next thing we're going to have a look at is how to translate these surnames into a mix of upper and lower case like the first name is. Um, there is literally a formula that we would type in with equals proper, P-R-O-P-E-R, -E open bracket, Click on G2 to say that is a cell that we want to see the proper format of and close bracket and you can see there that it's now given us capital letter for the first letter of the word and then everything else is in small letters and we can literally just drag that down and that formula will copy so we now have the first and the surname in proper format. What we then might want to do is to merge that first name and the second name back into one cell um, but with the correct formatting. So we'll use a function there called concatenate. And that sounds much more difficult than it actually is. All it's going to do, it's going to add together two cells with text in instead of numbers. So the formula we'll need is equals F2 being the first name. And then instead of using the plus, like you would when you're adding numbers together, you use the ampersand, which is the and above the seven on the keyboard. And then we would say H2. So it's the first name plus the second name and press enter. So there you can see it has put in for us the first and the second name. But we might want to go a step further and put a space in between the first and last name. In which case we literally just edit that formula. So we'll say F2 plus, then we want to put in a character which will be the space. So when you want to enter a character you need to put inverted commas which are above the two. So we enter two of those and then in between them just put the comma. Uh, sorry, one to the space. Okay, and then after that we would need another ampersand. Okay, so there we have Bob Space Smith and again we can just copy that down and it fills them in for everybody. Okay, the other thing we could do with this data is that I can see straight away that we have Jackie Jackson there and Jackie Jackson there as well. So what we could do is um, use a function again in the data ribbon called remove duplicates. So here, if we click on there, it gives us the option of selecting which column we want to check for duplicates in. If we, if we have all of these boxes ticked, it will only remove duplicates when all four of these columns are the same. So it could well be that we have somebody um, with the same name, but they are from a completely different business and a completely different email. So only if all, all details in all four columns are identical will it remove them. But now if we literally click OK, it's found three duplicate values and it's deleted them for us. So that now is a list of unique contacts, so it's a very quick way of um, eliminating duplicates. Okay, the other thing we can do, um, quite simple in this instance, to, because there's only half a dozen um, entries, but if we wanted to find somebody's name, we could literally highlight column A, and we can go to the home menu, and the binoculars on the end is find, top option is find, and then we could say find mark, and put in part of the word that it's going to find in that column. And do find next and it will take us to A10 where it finds the first mark. If we had a list of thousands um, of different rows of data we could click find next and it would go through and find every mark for us which again is a really simple way of very quickly being able to find marks record and then pulling out his phone number. Um, so as I say very simple um, but effective techniques that can help you to manipulate data very quickly very easily. Thank you.